Good morning, everyone. How are you? I'm Pastor Jin of Little Falls United Methodist Church. I'm here to share with you the daily devotional with the upper room. I hope this devotional helps your daily journey with God and fellowship with Jesus Christ today. Today is April 15th, 2021, Thursday. The theme of today's devotional is God's faithfulness. Scripture is from Matthew chapter 9, verses 18 through 26. While he was saying these things to them, suddenly a leader of the synagogue came in and knelt before him, saying, My daughter has just died, but come and lay your hand on her, and she will live. And Jesus got up and followed him with his disciples. Then, suddenly, a woman who had been suffering from hemorrhages for twelve years came up behind him and touched the fringe of his cloak. For he, she said to herself, If I only touch his cloak, I will be made well. Jesus turned, and seeing her, he said, Take heart. Daughter, your faith has made you well. And instantly, the woman has made well. When Jesus came to the leader's house and saw the full of players and the crowd making a commotion, he said, Go away, for the girl is not dead, but sleeping. And they left it at him. But when the crowd had been out, uh, had been put outside, he went in and took her by the hand, and the girl got up, and the report of this spread throughout the district. Amen. Another scripture is from John eleven forty. Jesus replied, "Didn't I tell you that if you believe?" You will see God's glory. Amen. Today's story is from um, Yairon, Jairon, who lives in Dominican Republic. I remember the indescribable emotion I felt the first time I heard the heartbeat of my soon-to-be-born daughter. The next day, I accompanied my wife to the doctor's office for a checkup. The exhilaration of the day before suddenly turned into fear. The doctor said that our daughter's life was at risk. I was stunned. My faith shaken. Many fearful thoughts crossed my mind. But that moment passed quickly when I remembered that God had always sustained me in my life's journey. I knew that if I remained rooted in my belief that God is constantly with me, I could face whatever came. In today's reading, the synagogue's leader's faith was strong in spite of the death of his daughter. His faith led him to believe in the power of Jesus to restore her to life. We will face doubts and difficult situations, but God wants only the best for us, for lives following the path Jesus Christ has set. We can be certain that in all circumstances, God will sustain us and remain faithfully by our side. <clears throat> yes. Even though we don't like to face difficulties, hardships, and any critical moments, we usually face that moment. I mean, everyone have that that moment. 
Sometimes God uh, let us avoid that kinds of situation and protect us from that situation. I mean, facing the uh, facing that kinds of situations. However, in many times we face those situations. Sometimes we feel hopeless. Sometimes we feel depressed. However, I hope we have the same faith that if God is with us, we can see the glory. If God is with us, we will be fine. Actually, Jesus Christ, who died for us and risen again, is with us and helping us and caring for us. As Chiron <clears throat> invited to his faith, invited us to his faith, saying, I know if, I mean, he knew that if he remained rooted in his belief that God is constantly with him, he could face whatever came. If we remain, we remain rooted in our belief in God, in God's care, in God's help, in Jesus' love and grace. We can face whatever come. I hope we have this kinds of faith, this strong faith, because God is with us and helping us, and God wants us to be strong in God, in Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit is with you. The powerful Spirit is with you who can keep our hearts and minds, our lives. The church family and friends, let us have the faith. If we are with God, if God is with us, we can face whatever comes. It will be not easy. I know it will be not easy. It will be not not comfortable, but still, with God, with Jesus, we can overcome everything. So let us, let us believe in God, trust in God more and more. Let us pray. Oh God, thank you for your steadfast faithfulness in good times and in the time of adversity. Gracious God, we need you all the time. And we are asking you to let us remain rooted in the faith that you are with us and Jesus is with us. Let us trust in you because you are faithful to help us, care for us. Lord, please be with us. Let us have the assurance and confidence so that when we live out our lives, let us enjoy this life. And let us be courage. Lord, help us today. For doing your ministries in our lives. Help us to believe in you more. And trust in you more and more. We give and thanks to you and we praise you. In the name of Jesus, we pray.
Amen. I hope you have a great day today, and I will see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day, and remember, Jesus is with us. Jesus is with you and me. Bye bye.